Microsoft Players. Welcome back to HitGuns.com. Today we're going to be talking about how to get a battery inside of a Beta C Mag. This is kind of a meticulous process, and it's not very self-explanatory, which, as we discovered, and as a lot of other players have discovered, uh, the battery compartment is located on the left drum, and it's held in place by around seven to eight screws. There's two screws here. Three screws here that you have to remove, and there's one on the front. It's not necessary to remove this part, the uh, the magazine, the magazine feed system, but it does make it a lot easier to get to it. The only tool you're going to need to do this is a Phillips head screwdriver, precision screwdriver. We have a precision screw, screwdriver right here. The first step you're going to want to take is remove the screws in a certain sequence. Usually the best course of action is to remove these two on the back first, and then these screws right here, and then this screw on the front, which we'll show and demonstrate in a moment. Naturally, unscrew the screws, left to loosen it, right to tighten it. Okay, once you have one screw in position, don't lose your screws, put them in a tray. Line them up in a row. Do whatever you feel is most comfortable. Okay. Then you want to take off this bracket right here. This is to hold the rear portion of the magazine in place while you use it. You don't necessarily need to remove all three screws, but if you want to, or if you're a perfectionist, then you can do so. It's not going to hurt it. It's not going to harm it. You just turn this to the left here for the sake of speed. And then you want to take off the front screw. It's located right here at the very bottom. Okay. Take off the magazine cover. It's optional, but it makes things a lot more, a lot smoother. Then you want to make sure this is out of the way, the bracket, and then pull off the rear right here. When you pull this off, take care not to bind these wires nor pull on them too hard because these are held in place by really delicate solder joints. This can be remedied if you're pretty familiar with soldering. A nice little fat bead of uh, 6040 Rosencore solder, and it should be okay. And your battery compartment is located right here. You can see right here. This particular model takes four double A's. Some, some models, at least not the ones that we carry, uh, use a rechargeable 4.8 um, nickel metal uh, battery, similar to that of a low power electric gun. Can you, you can put the batteries in and, and accordingly, you know, positive, negative, negative, positive. And you want to pull off these secure, these little brackets that hold the uh, batteries in place. Just put them in accordingly. Put the brackets back on so they don't move around when you jostle the magazine, bump it when you're playing, etc., etc. The real trick is getting this cover back on without binding the wires or tearing any wires. It's kind of meticulous, but can be done. So, In order to properly put this in place, you want to make sure that you put the package, uh, the battery pack in with the contours inside the magazine. You can see them inside here, right here, and here. Let's get a zoom in on that, shall we? You should be able to see it. And that's good. Okay. You want to make sure it fits in these grooves accordingly. The battery should be facing up towards the magazine, the outer portion right here. And the flat part that doesn't expose the battery should be facing towards the mechanics of it. When putting this back on, the hardest part is, is trying not to bind these wires. You want to make sure that they clear the gears inside here and the winding wheel and the, um, all the other mechanics inside of it. The best way to do this is to take the black wiring and push it down behind the battery pack. Just kind of guide it in as you, put, as you push it down. There you go. Again, as you can see, we're having problems trying to get it in without it binding. Got 
kind of a meticulous design, but well worth the extra ammunition. Am I right, guys? Okay. Once you have this in place, you want to be able you want to be able to put these screws back on because it'll make things a lot go a lot smoother. There. You can put one or two on. Do two for the sake of completion because all you really have to do is put this back on once you get these two screws in place and then put the secure bracket in place. Okay. Once you have these secured, do the step I just mentioned. Make sure that the front portion, this part right here, Face towards the front of the magazine, which would be the part where it kind of bows inwards. So you can see like that. You want to make sure this end goes on this way. There's also a hole right here, helping you uh, helping you find a sense of direction. Okay. See that hole right there? Good. Alrighty. You want to just slide that on. There you go. Fits right in place. Then you want to put the rear bracket back on. If you did what I did, it's only two screws. They're pretty distinguishable from the other two. Just put this style screw right here, which has a broader head on it. You want that to go towards the center. Okay. Okay, make sure that screw's in place. Sometimes these screws may not be matched, some of them are. But in this case, this one's matched properly. These are two narrow-headed screws, and this is a broad-head screw. I'm going to take the other broad-head screw and put it on the front. So this doesn't move around and cause BBs to not feed properly. Okay. Once you have the batteries installed, there's a um, another accessory that comes with this, which is a, um, well, we call it a pigtail, but this is a pressure switch. It's not really truly a pigtail, but you get the idea. You want to be able to plug this in to the small port on the rear right here. It should be right there. So you can see it's right there. There's a little lightning bolt symbol right above it, so just want to connect it in there. And then once you have batteries in it, you should be able to press this switch on the other end of the, uh, the, other end of the pigtail. And it should be able to wind it. You can do this continuous or you could do this in intervals as opposed to a sound fed system which functions on a static coming from a mechanical object. I hope this video has helped you. If you have any other further questions, feel free to shoot us an email, give us a call, and we'll gladly help you out. Thank you for choosing Hit Guns. Have a wonderful day.